Welcome to day 24 of the 25 days of Christmas spirits. Today we're making eggnog. So we saved this to day 24 because we think that it is the perfect drink to be drinking at Christmas and it will be ready Christmas Eve if you make it this morning or at least by Christmas morning, which is a perfect time to be drinking eggnog without the alcohol portion. This is a very easy thing to make non-alcoholic because you don't put the alcohol until the end and I never drink my eggnog with alcohol. So this is a perfect non-alcoholic recipe for me. Let's see the ingredients. So we're using six eggs, but we're only using the yolks and sugar, heavy whipping cream, milk, nutmeg, salt, vanilla, cinnamon, and then spiced rum, which is the normal eggnog, although there are other people who have other ideas of what alcohol goes in their eggnog. Let's put this thing together. So I'm gonna show you two ways to separate your yolks from your whites. First is the way my grandmother showed me how to do it. You open it up and you use the shells. You got shells and gravity working for you. This is the second way. This is the way that I've seen it done on TV. Just use your fingers as the separator device. So it is very fast to do it that way. You can buy an egg separator, but why when you have fingers that you can use? Okay, some people are wondering probably what that white is on the egg yolk still, and that is called the shalazy. I know I said shalazy. It is the part that holds the yolk in place from the top of the egg to the bottom of the egg so that the yolk doesn't get out of place as the egg is getting formed. It is perfectly natural and it is edible. So with your six egg yolks, you're gonna put a half cup of sugar in there and whisk it together. So this is called creaming. In a saucepan, we're going to start the next ingredients. One cup of heavy cream, two cups of milk, one half teaspoon of nutmeg, a pinch of salt. I'm gonna put this on the stove top and wait until it gets barely to a simmer. So you wanna make sure you're stirring occasionally so it doesn't scorch on the bottom. Keep this over a medium heat until it's just at a simmer. So it has gotten to a simmer stage where it is just below boiling. We're gonna take it off and start gradually adding it to our mixture. This is the part that is called tempering, where you're slowly adding a hot to a cooler ingredient and so the eggs do not curdle. And this does require two hands. I'm gonna stir. slowly tempering the eggs. So this does take a little bit of time, but I promise you it will be well worth it. Sometimes it takes three hands to do this correctly. So. Now that I've got the majority of the liquid over where the eggs were, and they're all together mixed, I'm going to actually pour them back into the saucepan. So we're gonna take this back to the stove and we're going to heat it to 160 degrees on our thermometer. Well, we are now at 160, so they are still a good liquid consistency and I have no scrambled eggs, which means I tempered correctly. It is slightly thickened and it will thicken more as it cools. Now that it is off the stove, I can add a quarter teaspoon of vanilla. I'm gonna stir this up, and then I'm gonna pour it into a pitcher for later for it to get cool, so it'll be thicker. 
We'll see you in a couple hours. We got really busy and it actually was the next day that we're going to be trying the eggnog. Um, it has been a long day already. So, but what I want to say is it's really nice consistency and everything that you make at home is so much better than a prepackaged. Because I know you can go out, you can buy a half gallon of eggnog and you don't have to do this. But anything that you make by scratch with your own hands is 10 times, 20 times better than anything you will ever pick up at the store. Especially when you make it with farm fresh eggs. Look how nice that's pouring. They did say when you go to drink it that you should sprinkle a little bit of cinnamon on top. Doesn't that look like something you'd want to drink? Let's try that now. Let's try this. I've been looking forward to this. Oh, did I mention that when you make it yourself, it tastes better? Oh, this is so creamy. And the eggs are cooked, for those of you who wonder, because they did get overheat, so they're just not scrambled like scrambled eggs. I can taste that nutmeg in there, cinnamon on top. It's creamy and, and smooth. I'd be making eggnog more often now that I know how to do it. I'm glad you guys are watching and know how to do it as well. So we'll be back one more day. The last day is tomorrow. I hope you guys are having a good holiday season filled with cheer, and peace, and love, and spirits. So have a good holidays and we'll see you soon on the homestead. Bye everyone. So happy. It's the last day and it's Christmas. <laughs>